There are many people out there that believe the Nerf rival Chaos has been trumped and kind of made obsolete by the Nerf Percy's, a hopper fed blaster. But I'm here to tell you that the Chaos really is a pretty awesome blaster, especially when you take this thing up to 3S. <laughs> As you can see, this thing can deliver a barrage of rival rounds, and with their mags holding 40 rounds, if you can have a few mags holding that many rounds, these things can be quite effective on the battlefield. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and jump into how to mod one of these to bring it up to 3S, and check out how awesome this thing actually becomes. So let's jump right into the video. <laughs> Now, I've been a big fan of the Nerf Rival Chaos for some time now just because of its aesthetics. I mean, it's a really awesome, chunky battle rifle, in my opinion. The overall ergonomics of it are very fitting for an adult, and it feels great to, to wield. It's not a little bit, it's not too cumbersome, but it is a little bit large, so. So it's not for you know small children or whatnot. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and pop this thing open, and I'm gonna show you the internals. I'm gonna show you where I ended up uh, mounting the switches in here and just kind of go over the wiring. So let's go ahead and get right into butterflying this.
Now the overall layout inside of this blaster is uh, very similar to a uh, kind of like a Prometheus or even like a Nemesis and in, in which it does use a conveyor type of belt that uh, the only difference is this one is faced this way instead of upside down like you would see in a hopper system where the balls, the rival rounds will actually fall into the belt and then gravity will kind of help push it in. So that's why you'll see people kind of shaking it around to try to work those rival rounds into that hopper system so it actually can fire or that belt assembly. So this one, it's a, when it comes to wiring, it's the same. It's just uh, it's just upside down, essentially. So I'll go ahead and post a wiring diagram or a nemesis or a Prometheus and uh, or even, even a chaos. It's all the same. I'd like to note that the wheels and the motors in this blaster are sufficient. They, they are good enough as they are. So all you got to do is pull off that extra, there's like a circuit board that comes on there. Just pull that off, wire directly to the motors and uh, you don't have to change out flywheels or anything because uh, Rival actually has some pretty powerful uh, motors and flywheels. So leave those in. I did go ahead and take out all the locks. So if there's any type of locks that prohibit you from firing the blaster when the magazine is out, go ahead and take those out because they're not really needed. So once I got this thing buttoned backed up, I wanted to go check out its chronograph numbers and this thing was hitting around 120. So we got about, you know, about 20 FPS boost. Uh, sometimes I was hitting up to 130. So pretty good, pretty substantial, especially when we didn't change the cage geometry or anything. All we did was just throw more juice through the, uh, the flywheel motors and now we get a, a nice increase of, uh, you know, 20 to 30 FPS. In addition, we get rid of all that weight. There was a ton of weight back here before with those uh, old batteries. So now we just have a LiPo, which is much lighter. And of course that saves money in the long run because uh, you can recharge a LiPo. Uh, I think it's like a thousand times or something. It's something ridiculous. Whereas the other batteries, you know, once they're out, you toss them and you pay another 30 bucks to get more batteries. And yeah, it's, it's just not good. So uh, stop using C's and D's. They're just horrible, horrible ways to go about powering blasters. So the final test that I wanted to do with this is I wanted to see how many, how long would it take for me to dump 120 rounds? So I set up my, uh, my target and uh, this is unedited footage. I just went from mag to mag to mag and I dumped 120 rounds and go ahead and we'll start that timer and see how fast is able to pull it off. So yeah, firing off 120 rounds in under 30 seconds is just phenomenal. Super impressed with this bl blaster. Another huge point that I really wanna try to drive home with this is there's no shaking around. Those, those rival rounds feed directly into the flywheels with every trigger pull. You can fire one shot every time without wondering if you gotta shake it or kind of make sure that your hopper's you know, full or jammed or whatnot. You don't need any of that because of this mag system, the way it works, and that's why this blaster can be superior to the Percy's because if you're trying to get one, one shot, one tag, I know the Percy's is a very, very accurate and powerful blaster in itself and it has great performance out of the box with no modification. So I'm, I'm not saying this is better than the Percy in that regard, because for cost, for what you get, the Percy's is better. But I'm just saying that when you have this thing modded out for 3S and you want to do individual tags, just, you know, one round, one shot, this thing's going to be a little bit more responsive than the Percy's. So in the end, I highly recommend doing one of these mods if you have a Chaos, if you can acquire more mags. Um, and let's spend a moment to talk about that. Every magazine I've ever found, except for this one, <laughs> most magazines that I find, this top piece up here, and we didn't really spend much time talking about the mags, but essentially they're basically like four 10 round rival mags. And so what you're doing is 
you're loading them all up and they're all pushing so it feeds into an assembly up here or kind of like a feed tube and then the belt is just grabbing these and that's why you get that really responsive fire rate. So when it comes time to loading it, you, you put these all down and then you pop this open by hitting this little lever and you're able to load your rounds. The problem with this design is this tab right here usually breaks off, especially when it gets donated to a Goodwill or whatnot. This thing will just break off real easy. If I drop this right now, I probably could break this off. So they're notorious for always being broke when I find them. Fortunately, and I'll put a link in the description, someone created a replacement part. Now, it's, it's not as easy as just print that and throw it in and you're good. I actually had a little bit of troubleshooting to do with it because uh, the way it works is there's a little kind of uh, area here that this thing rotates on. And so if you print the printed part and then it looks like it has clips where you just shove it in there, I kept breaking my clips or the thing, the assembly would just break. So you need to print this in a higher infill. I personally printed it in PETG. And what I finally did is I printed it in a high infill in PETG and I actually took the screw off, opened this up, put it in and then tightened the screw back down. And now my parts are great. I've, I've not had one break and uh, they're pretty reliable. So, so far I have three magazines and I'm very happy with it. I'm thankful that that part exists. So if you get some of these and you have access to a 3D printer or maybe even someone, maybe even a company out there or someone will print them for you. I'm sure if you reach out and ask for some one-off prints, they'll probably do it for you if you have the files. But yeah, so if you have any of these broken mags, get them fixed or you can even probably sell them because you know, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that would like to get their hands on some Chaos mags. Well, I'm Dr. Flux, and that pretty much wraps up this build guide of the Nerf Rival Chaos. Let me know in the comment section if you have a Chaos, and if you're looking to do a similar mod. Really curious to see if other people share the same passion I have with this blaster, and yeah, it's, I, I just love how it turned out. I actually have two of them, I like them so much, and they're both up to 3S, so that way, this is my standard rifle that if someone likes to play Rival, and they want something that, you know, is accurate, hits hard, I usually just toss them one of these. Once again, I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy foam flinging. Oh, That's a little bit too powerful for here. <laughs>